Hey, Steve Noble, Noble Moto. We've got our 2012 Sportster 883 iron up here on the lift today. And today, we're going to remove and reinstall the gas tank. Lots of reasons you need to do this. I'm putting a fuel pump in it, but this is just a video on how to remove and reinstall the gas tank. So, it's pretty easy to do. It's only basic hand tools and a Torx bit, which is still technically a basic hand tool. And, uh, yeah, uh, let's move in a little closer and take a look. Step one is going to be to remove your fuel line. This there's a Torx bit in there, which is either 516 slash 8 millimeters for the outer hex, or it's a T20 Torx bit. And with that T20, you should be able to just lefty loosey that sucker right on out of there. You might have to use a wrench because there is some medium strength thread locker on this screw. Take that out of there, set it to the side. From there, you should be able to. Just take that clip right on off of there. Once that clip is off of there, you should be able to just lift this fuel line right up out of there. You're gonna get a little dribble. It should hopefully stop in a few seconds. Hmm. It's not. Put that back in. Go find your rubber caps. So I have some vacuum caps here that I purchased. They're just vacuum caps from like a local hard auto parts store. For vacuum lines but they're gasoline rated and if you find the right one you should be able to slide it right over there that should keep the gas from dribbling on out note i added the hose clamp to seal it up a little bit once that's done you can move here drop your allen wrench on the ground move here you should be able to just wiggle this rubber hose whoop, right off the tank there that's your overflow slash vent and then follow the electrical line down here to the right. You should find the quick connect down here. Press the little button in. Pull the electro quick connect apart off. This is the electricity for your fuel pump and the feedback for your uh, fuel gauge or low fuel light, depending on what setup you have. So from there, pick your Allen wrench up off the floor. You can take a half inch deep well socket and just uh, lefty loosey the rear bolt right on off of there. Hold the other side with your quarter inch Allen. Should be able to just break that free. And ratchet that nut right off of there. You can slide that bolt right on out of there. Keep track of your washers and everything in order by threading the nut back onto the bolt. Now, move up to your front tank mount. In the same scenario, just break that bolt free while holding the other side with your quarter inch allen. Again, you can pull that bolt right on out of there. Hopefully your tie downs aren't in the way. Thread the nut back on there. Now, depending on how much gas you have in this thing, uh, it, it will vary in force it takes to lift it up off of there. We're gonna lift the front of it up and then lift the back right up off of there. Make sure you have a spot already set up to set this thing down in too. Swing your fuel line out of the way, and up and off she goes. Now I'm going to take this to a gas can and drain the rest of the gas out. Take the tank, drop your back end down there first. Make sure your fuel line swung out of the way. Drop your front end down on there. Jiggle it in place till it all lines up. Now reinstall your back tank mount.
reinstall your front tank mount. Go to your rear mount, tighten her up. Of course, torque these to spec. Pick up your seal after it dropped on the engine. Take the cap off, slide it back up on there. You might have to spin your hose around, your high pressure line around, until that tab on the fuel line points towards the right side of the motorcycle. That means it will sit in this gap here. And this notch here will go over this plastic tab right there. Hopefully you can see that. If you can't, when you get in there to do this, it should all be pretty apparent. Just make sure your line's down in there. Make sure that line's up. Take your screw, put a little dab of medium strength thread lock around there. And tighten that little screw back up with your T20 Torx bit. Any day now, that thing will tighten up. All right. From there, reconnect your vent line. Once your vent line is reconnected up there, you put this little plastic thing back in that little plastic holder thing. I don't know what that thing's called. Um, from there, you can plug your fuel pump and everything back in. Push it in until it clicks. Put it behind the little plastic shroud. Take the little plastic cover that fell off your fuse box Pop that back into place. All right, then actually reinstall this cover, which we're not going to do because I'm waiting on these little uh, clips to show up. Uh, but yeah, everything else is back together. So put some gas in it, see if it leaks, start it up, see if it works. As you're doing this, make sure it's not dripping out the other side. All right, check for leaks. No leaks so far. That looks pretty good. Right over the other side, turn the key on. I turn the handlebar switch on. Hopefully, something should make a noise. It did. Make sure it's in neutral. Press start button. 